Holla! Okay, so as you know, I'm not there. And we are starting the research, uh, persuasive research paper. And tomorrow you are going to be going to the library and working with Mrs. Dunbar on some research stuff. So hopefully you have your Chromebooks. If you don't, do not ask to go now. Most of you have your Chromebooks anyway, but um, here's the dealio. Uh, we are going to be talking about Badger Link today, and we already had uh, a little bit of conversation about this. So I am going to allow you to go check the board to find out what your persuasive topic is. And some of you were kind of general on your topic. Yes, I realize you're probably all running up to the board. If you're not, go ahead and look. If you don't already know, some of you checked it last week. Uh, you don't have to be talking to each other while you're doing this. Hello! You do not need to be talking to each other while you are checking the board. So please stop talking. Thank you. Okay. So once you have your topic, you're going to go write it down. But like some of you were kind of vague on it because this is a persuasive research topic that you're doing. So you need to decide how you are going to persuade something about it. Okay. So for example, um, steroid use. I'm assuming you're arguing against steroid use, but I don't know how many people would disagree with you except for the athletes who are cheating. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're not going to get a lot of coaches to say, yeah, I think it's a great idea. You're not going to get a lot of doctors to say, yeah, it's a great idea. Um, so are you then going to argue these are some ways that we can curb the amount of steroid use that is prevalent among college and professional athletes? What? Okay. So one of the things that you're going to be doing today is kind of narrowing your topic. And um, some of you might find that the research that you have to do is challenging to find research on. Okay. So again, you may have to narrow some of the stuff that you're looking for. Okay. So I know I keep saying okay, but you know what I'm saying? All right. So we are in just a minute going to go on Badger Link and I'm going to show you me working on Badger Link and looking through um, EBSCOhost. And remember, Badger Link is free to people in Wisconsin, uh, people from other states have to pay for this use. So it's really awesome that we have access to it. So I'm going to show you how to get to EBSCOhost and um, some other little tweaks with BadgerLink as far as looking for good research. Now, you're going to need quotes. You're going to need um, MLA citations. So remember, I don't know, it was probably about two, three weeks ago, perhaps, that I gave you all that information on research stuff and told you to hang on to it. So, I mean, seriously, there were like six pages worth of stuff, and it gave you like the MLA, um, like your resource page and your in-text citations and that kind of stuff. So when you're looking through this, like, you're going to need to write down the name of the articles because right now you are not going to be able to print that stuff because you just have your Chromebook and you can't print it from your Chromebook. So you can either send the link to me and I can print it out, but I'm not going to just be looking all this stuff up. All right. So if you copy and paste the link and send it to me and I can click on it and just open it right to the article, I can print that for you. Otherwise, um, you can... Uh, just write down the name of it and then go to the library and then print it up there from their computers. Okay, so you have a number of options here. But like I said, when you're reading through, make sure that you are, number one, annotating. And we've been talking about that all year. So, you know, if you want to use like the question mark, exclamation point, check, or if you want to highlight stuff, 
Um, if you think that there's like a really important quote that you might use in your research paper, maybe highlight that in a certain color, like all possible quotes could be in green. Um, and then you could use another color like orange or pink to hit like stuff that you want to um, paraphrase or just general information that you want to include in your arguments. Okay. Um, remember, if you already have the information, like some of you are researching topics that you already have good information on. So um, you can, that doesn't need to be um, cited in your paper. Um, but if you use a specific quote to support the information that you already have, or if it's new information that you learn from an article and you're going to paraphrase it, you need to cite both of those in the MLA. Okay. So, all right, without further ado, we're going to hit Badger link. So hang on. I'll be back in a second. We just got to get to the next link.